Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I'm here to share a mini album that started earlier this year and I just finished it up. Um, this was from, these are photographs from Disney 2019. And I started this album during like Christmas into New Year's. So to, sh to show it at that time would have been kind of counterproductive. And I think it went over into January. So I had done the album to a certain point. Then I pulled it out because I'll do that. How many unfinished projects do we all have, right? So <laughs> I um, pulled the album out, decided to finish it. And now I'm here to show you with photographs my eight by eight mini album freestyle again so this is not a tutorial this is just me creating an album and the paper line i used was Artabella christmas collection from i i, I saw it available on scrapbook.com so i'll link it below and the second paper line comfort and joy by my mind's eye so you guys know this is an oldie now this was a paper that i had even found Okay, you know how Tuesday mornings sometimes carry older paper? Tuesday morning. So I have another whole stack of it. But this, funny enough, have you ever noticed that when a paper pack version of the collection pack in the plastic is different? That's the case here. These papers, the, the, the patterns are the same. The coloring is a little bit off. No glitter. This has glitter. So if you can find the original, but this paper is, I guess I'm gonna tell you a date. Ooh, 2016, so it's an oldie, but, I, but I've seen this recent times. My mind's eye, and this one, like I said, is still in stock. This is um, Cartabella, listen to that. Although I still, even though it is thick, I don't use pattern paper to make pages. I like to use cardstock for for making the bones of the book and then matting on top. So this book is very sturdy, nice and weighty. I don't know how much pounds this is, but it, it does have weight and it's an eight by eight mini album. And this is me, my mom and my daughter. My son, he doesn't like Disney. He's a universal person, so he didn't wanna go to Disney. So the girls, we had a girls trip three generation girls trip. On the cover here, I decided to kind of do a little scrapbook collage. And yes, with Goofy, take a picture with Goofy. And on here, this is part of the ephemera of um, the Christmas collection paper or Comfort and Joy. It may be the Comfort and Joy. Here, I just put the sticker. So I had, I had also found um, the ephemera the Comfort and Joy, when I had bought that paper, I bought it a long time ago and never used it. And so I've had it in my stash and I had all the stuff for it. So the ephemera, the pieces, all the bits and pieces. So it's both paper lines. I have ephemera, stickers, chipboard, everything. And that's what you see layered up here. And maybe some other little things just in dispersed in between. Here I just kind of stacked up. I did layer upon layer upon layer. Here I took out my um, chomper to do like a decorative edge. Here I took out my, what punch is this? Is this a Martha Stewart? If this is not a Martha Stewart punch, then this is an EK success punch. But I like the, the quilted look because this paper does have that, you know, it's vintage Christmas colors here for like, you know, like a sweater. Cute, cute, cute. Here is the spine. The spine is, um, mm, let me tell you how, how wide the spine is. Maybe three inches. Mm, almost three inches. So maybe two and, two and three quarter. And here's the back. So I kept the back plane back to the front. Let me make sure that I didn't lose you guys. And let's get started. So Photograph with Santa, the whole family with Santa. And why I like an eight by eight, because I can put a five by seven. That's a five, that's a five by seven photograph right there. Um, here, I put a four by six journaling spot, which I will write in. I just, I don't know, I just don't like, like the journaling. I don't know. I've never ever been into the, the I like the journaling cards. I like the cut parts, but the, the actual writing, I don't know. <laughs> here, I just put a die cut piece, one of my snowflake dies. Over here, this is just a piece of um, ephemera with some glossy accents on it. 
Here I just put some die cut piece of Christmas tree, sticker, sticker. These two stickers are from a different paper pack. Um, over here now, I did an interactive page here. So that's the first first page. So normally I put a I put a pocket here, but in this instance, I wanted it to scrapbook because I wanted to show show this trip that we did during Christmas time. My mini album, I can do what I want, right? <laughs> Okay, so now here I have an outside flap. This is a little car sticker from um, Hobby Lobby. I think they still have this too. This is a, a cut apart piece or a sticker from, I think this is Graphic 45 or maybe Prima. But I just layered it up. When I like paper, you, you guys can tell when I like paper, when it just keeps on going and going and going. And there's Gina, Mickey and Minnie. I had a little hat die, so I put it on Mickey, so he doesn't have a hat on. He does have a hat, but it's like flopping like Minnie, but I actually put a die cut piece with glitter. Yes, 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 yes. Let me show you up close, see? Yes, I went all out. Now, I could have printed these pictures um, matte, but I think I did I did print them glossy, so that's why the light light above is reflecting in them. That's my mom with Santa. And I did, seeing that it's Christmas time, I went all out with the glitter, glitter rotty, and um, some glossy accents. Fold it out. That's us by a Christmas tree over in Hollywood Studios. So this was all Disney World. I've not been to Disneyland one day. It's on the bucket list. Here I just played again. It's going to be a lot of like loose scrapbooking and mini album making here. I really had fun with the photographs. And I knew what photographs I was going to use. And I also knew I had all this ephemera and all these stickers. And I love the paper. So, And even, I mean, if you look at it, the reason why I chose the paper is because look at Minnie, Mickey, and Minnie and Mickey here. It's all vintage. And yes, that's my ugly sweater that I did wear to the parks. I sure did. I sure did. And it was actually cold too that time. Fold out. Scrapbooking again. Here, Mickey and Minnie. See how, look how the colors match. Like they were like, like this whole double paper line, two paper lines were meant to, to be together. Here's a picture of Gina. And, and I also chose this little, um, the elves from the memory maker at Disney World. You can, you can choose the photo frame. So I chose this photo frame. Yeah, I went all out. Snowflake die, little cardinal here more you know pieces of ephemera strips of paper this time i cut the paper with little strips like for example here's a little strip popped it popped it right there that type of thing sometimes i'd even use the strip at the bottom here i used every ounce of this paper and loved every minute of it and pulling it out now and finishing it up was even more fun to be honest with you you ever look at your project after, way after you do it and you're like, I really made this? This, this was one of those for me. Love this. I just, I just had so much fun making this mini album. This now I think is simple story. So I'd maybe even use a third, a third paper line. But the third paper line would be just a few sheets just because of what it has on it. Okay, so that's us there in uh, Magic Kingdom. Let me make sure that I'm all zoomed up, all um, focused. That's us, Hollywood Studios, Santa, again, Hollywood Studios. So here, this is a waterfall, me with Minnie, flip it up, us again, hanging out. And then I did, this fits a five by seven, flip the flap down, can put a photograph here, but I wanted to enjoy the paper. But because it is five by seven, guess what? Oh yeah, I gotta move the album. I did put a five by seven. This is hard using this using this um, overhead at this size because I normally use this size for for cards and when I show you guys hauls. So there we go. So then, like I said, I did a five by seven flap up, and that's that whole section that's on top of a pocket, on top of a side loading pocket. And here we are at Animal Kingdom. And there I use a punch on the side of a photo mat. I can put more photos on the back. Here I just use, this is actually a sheet of paper from um, Hobby Lobby, which I'm sure you can still find it with the, bir with the um, birch tree. Now, when I finished it up, 
I added here I had collage this and I just added these last last night that's here so it's um, puffy stickers from Hobby Lobby but they're not so puffy or so high that it's creating too much bulk in the album the album still closes well it's not doing the wide open thing flip the page over here is a little flap I did a little flag here, a little um, fishtail, and there goes Santa. Flip it out. Here we are again. I collaged here. Let me make sure that I am focused. Let it snow, let it snow at Epcot. So I, I chose that little um, filter from the memory maker. Cute. Here is Gina with Daisy. And again, I use the... I think this is a tailored expressions um, Santa hat die pretty sure that's why when I showed you the haul from AliExpress when I showed you that little die with all the little hats and the scarves this is why I like to use them because I can use them I could even use it on a photograph and it works well works on Daisy work on Daisy and then here I did, um, I cut into the paper so it sticks behind it. And I just layer it up here. I can do a sentiment there. I put a little um, piece of ephemera here just to break the colors. This paper, if you guys know it, uh, that may actually be, is it Prima or Kra Kaiser Craft? That's Kaiser Craft. So I pull pulled in some sheets of other papers that had that same vintage feel. Here is a pocket that's angled. And um, over here, I put an ugly sweater sticker, another sticker, and just layered up ephemera with a little strip. Here, here we are on a ride. This is another um, piece of ephemera with a little flap that flips up. And here we are on the ride. That's me having fun and Gina having a heart attack beside me. That's how we usually roll <laughs> on the rides. Ah, jeez, poor thing. <laughs> she likes roller coasters and hate them at the same time <laughs> so here we are this is a nice little tag and I just and I also I think I got this from Michael's this is old though but I think every year they do come out with it these little ephemera stickers and it has some little um rhinestones here and the rhinestones don't Sometimes when you put these type of ephemera, that when you close the album, it'll tear into the page. It's not tearing into the page. Here's an example of stickles, stickles, classy accents on an ephemera piece. Ah, that's just me covering up the back. On an on a, on a ephemera piece. Cute, a little um, three by four journaling card. Make sure that I am focused. Come back out. Here's a nice, nice four by six of me with Daisy. I don't know where Donald was. Maybe it was just Daisy by herself. I think it was Daisy by herself. And just a photograph. Stick something here just to break up from the black in the back. Stick a little piece here and put a little strip there just to add interest. Here's a pocket in the pocket. Here's a little gingerbread. I put um, glossy accents on him too. And I just kept layering, layering, enjoying the paper. Now you pull everything out. I like to do this too, where instead of using two different sheets, I use the same and continue the storyline. Here I just added a little piece there, just for contrast. There's my mom hugging, hugging up, um, who is that, Pluto? Pluto at Epcot. There goes Epcot in the background. Here again with Daisy. There I just put the ephemera there just to play with it. Here I am with Minnie. And then here, this is this is Hobby Lobby. And I think every year this paper is available. And if you're wondering what this is, this is, um, I think this is white glossy accent. I think it's white glossy accents that gives that look of snow. If it's not glossy accents, uh, could be the liquid pearl. I have to look. I have to look. But I'm pretty sure. I think it was white glossy accents. Flip it over. Tuck my little goodies in. Put this one back. And then, did I have it like this? I think I had it like that. And then close the page. Or I had it like this. See, now here I have choices. I can either leave it like this. 
but I think it's supposed to be like that because this goes back to that. Aha, aha. Again, Hobby Lobby paper. Ooh, that light is so, ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me put something here to block that light. Ooh, it's absorbing all that light above. But if I turn off that light, then, <laughs> then you won't see a thing. All right, here's another photo opportunity. Another photo opportunity. Again, photo opportunity. And again, photo opportunity that I turned into like a little tab and then put a little sticker here, a little, um, Everything though is low, low profile, just, just to reduce bulk because I have so much going on. And every time you mat, you know, matting, matting, paper, and then a photograph, you're adding more and more bulk. So always be, be, um, hmm, cognizant of that. There we go. Here I come here. I think this is just a page with a five by seven. That's one of the reasons why I made this album this size because I knew I wanted to add. If I made the album bigger, let's say nine by 11, then I could have done definitely eight by 10, but I didn't want to do, do that big. Here, flip over. You guys have seen this die before. This is that Kaiser Craft ugly sweater die. Here's a side loading pocket. Pull out the pocket. Enjoy the paper. Loving the paper. So this is a simple page. It's just plain on the front, pocket on the back, which is great because then you can really enjoy the paper and also stuff it to the gills. So here's a nice little photo opportunity. Another photo opportunity, Epcot at night. And another one here with a little sticker, loved ones are near and a little bit of um, stickles. So I use stickles, I use glitter, all the goodies amongst the vintage. Here I went completely all out with this little image. I think this image is, um, is Kaiser Craft. Now see how I cut the paper and let me show you at this angle. See the angle? That's stickles, glitter, um, glossy accent all over. Oh yes, I went to town. And that's us in front of one of the many, many trees of Disney at night. So I made that flat there. I wanted this front and center, and then I did all that excitement. Flip it out. Here we are. Yes, Gina and I went to the um, the um, Christmas party, the Mickey's Christmas party. I think it's called Mickey's Christmas party. Oh gosh, I can't can't remember the name. We would have been at it this year, and then I would have known exactly what it's called. <laughs> we met Jack Skeleton and Daisy. Oh, this will be the only photograph you'll ever see of that. Three, two, two and a half to three hours. I was in the line so long that by the time I was ready to leave, it was like I was already there, so I might as well stay. So I layered it up. I put the, the green here and the glitter just to brighten up the darkness of the photograph. Here now, we're going to flip out more of um, Jack Skeleton and Daisy and a die cut piece from my stash. Side loading pocket. So it has a little flap and it looks like an envelope. Here's just a little spot. Here I am with Mickey. Just a little um, cut apart with some glossy accents on it, if you can see. And one of my heart, um, no, I think I think this may come on the paper. Maybe I just put glossy accents on, um, stickles, 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 Oi. Here we are again at night at Epcot. Because I had the memory maker, I don't even think I took any pictures with my own camera, with my own phone or camera. Flip on the back, enjoying the paper again. Put a little strip here. So I made the page short. I didn't carry it all the way out to the edge. Flip that out. And here again with the family in Animal Kingdom. Put a little um, cut apart here. May the joy and peace of Christmas be with you. Come here, side loading pocket side loading pocket. Here we are over at Epcot in France. I can tell because here's the Apple Tower at night and I changed the picture to be like this black and white and had that tree with a ton of stickles on it. <laughs> here's Gina looking like, must I stop to take another picture again? Because yes, I do that to my family. I'm thinking scrapbooking. Here's a pocket. Love this. And I think this was the only punch I used. Mmm, I really want to say it's Martha Stewart. Not Martha Stewart, then E.K. Success. One out of the two. 
There's a sometimes when punches just really add that finishing touch. Now here, this is the last page, page assembly. And here, this is a slanted pocket on top of another pocket. So there, so it's two, so this is like almost like a stacked pocket. Here's this a little journaling spot and I can add something else there. Here's Gina with Mickey and it flips up. Again, more photograph, more photograph. Come back down. So you can always make your, your um, photo mats, you know, interactive just like that. You can turn them into little booklets, but the more, more you add to them is the more bulk you're going to have. And the wider your pocket is going to be, is going to need. Here's another photo spot, uh, photo mat. And then there's a the paper again, just the little strips. And then tuck it in. So side loading, side loading pocket with a stacked pocket. And then here's the back. This is going to be a waterfall. So this flips up, revealing the paper. Love that wood with, with the, with the um, snowflakes. And this flips down, revealing more pattern paper. And then here, this has the bumpers. This is, uh, this is something that, that was introduced by um, Kathy from Paper Phenomenon, where she will add like a little two inch bumper here so you can get to stack a whole bunch of, um, even when it's, this is a little booklet, even when it's thick, so it'll hold everything and then you can pull them all out and look at them, whether you made a postcard or a photo with a sticker on it or just another photo. This can hold maybe even six photos. Here, I took a little sticker, I made a little tab, like a tab wallet and um, let me make sure that I am. And then this flips down. And there you go. More opportunity to journal. There goes my mom. Flip up. And it is magnetized. And then these bumpers help to hold everything in without a magnet. Well, this, this does have a magnet. But you don't have to have a magnet. Because I have this so long, it doesn't have to have a magnet. So it looks like a belly band, but it's not a belly I just wanted to use a punch with the cardstock just to look pretty, but it's not a belly band. And then here is the back inside pocket, which is, I love this. See the, see the glitter? Sometimes when you buy the paper pack, it won't have the glitter on it. And then there's some pictures of my mom and Gina that I just collaged. And then here's another little flip up. Here we are. Oh, I know exactly where this is at. Toy Story, outside of Toy Story. And this is at um, mm, Hollywood Studios. We love Hollywood Studios. Oh, we love, we love Disney World. What am I saying? We love Disney World. Alrighty, and that's it. That's my Disney Christmas mini album that I finally finished. Added the last touches, some last minute matting, using that wonderful Cartabella Christmas collection and my mind's eye, what did I say it was? Comfort and joy. Alrighty, folks, I hope you enjoyed my little album and, you know, I'm looking forward to 2021 to make another album. Yes. Alrighty, guys, until the next video, stay crafty, my friends. Bye.